Hello and welcome to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes Grand Arena Championships Season 32, Week 1, Round 3. My name is Boma Fett. I'm 1-1 one one on the season, having won in the first round and the second round I had an impossible opponent. Now when I first looked at my pod at the beginning of the week, there were only two people who I thought I would not have a chance against. One of them was the guy I faced in round two. The other one is the guy I'm facing this round. However, now that I've done a little bit more checking and looked at his GAC history, I think I actually might have a chance here. So let's take a look at my opponent. Palouche. Palouche is a French word that means paw, like an animal's paw. So let's go to the hot pot for a quick comparison. Okay, so the green on my side and the red on his side look about even. So let's zoom in and take a closer look. The GAC stats indicate that Palouche is a decent GAC player. We've got over 3,000 total offensive wins. His defends are a little low when compared to his offensive wins, suggesting he is more of an offensive-focused player. However, he does not have as many clears as you would expect for an offense-focused player. So these stats have me a little bit puzzled. Palusha's overall GP is 600,000 more than mine, including almost 200,000 in the top 80. I have 11 more Zetas applied, and look at this, only two Omicrons and only one of those is a GAC Omicron, Wampa. So that is very strange and unusual. I have a little bit more speed at the top of my roster, and if you look down at the mod analysis, you can see that I do have an advantage at every level as far as high-speed secondaries, but it's not a huge advantage. It's a few mods here, a few mods there. Palouche has 33 more Gear 13 characters in 3v3. That's 11 more Relic squads. That's huge. And that translates to nearly 200 more total Relic levels, 563 to 365. So he definitely has the potential to apply more Datacrons than I do. However, it looks like he's not that engaged with Datacrons. We only have 30 total Datacron levels here, though he does have two level nines, so that could be very big. Palouche has five out of the six GLs. I have only two, so that's a huge advantage for him. In the key characters, you can see that he does not have Malgus or Starkiller or Scion of Django. Now, Scion of Django is kind of garbage in GAC, so that's not a big deal. And my Malgus, I actually unlocked after this week started, so this is not really an advantage here for me either. But I do have Starkiller, and he does not, so that makes up a tiny bit for the fact that he has more Galactic Legends. Neither one of us has the Profundity, and my Executor is actually one speed faster than his, which means that he must not have all 6E mods on his Piet. And these guys here at the bottom, they're mostly for me to check and see if my opponent is working on the newest stuff, and it doesn't look like he is. So going by GAC history, I'm expecting one or two GLs on defense, but he saves the others for offense. So it looks like this may be an efficiency match. Let's go back to the game and check the board. So the reason that I thought I might have a chance here, even though he has five GLs to my two, is because he usually only sets one or two on defense, meaning that I should still be able to full clear. And he often just doesn't participate. He only does a couple of attacks in a round. And as you can see, he has attacked once and stopped. So here in the bottom zone, he got a 64 against Grievous. So he didn't go Wampa there, I guess. But he hasn't touched any of the other squads. We've got CLS, Leftover Bounty Hunters, Darth Revan with Talon, and Qui-Gon Jinn. In the top zone, I set Newt Gunray, Beskar Mando, Sith Triumvirate, Mole Mandalorians, and Dash Rendar. In the back zone, I've got Mothma, Savage Malik, Night Sister Cheese, 
Fin Fin Po, and Hux. So he should have no problem clearing through my defense, meaning that this is an efficiency match. So let's look at his defense. We've got a Finn Squad, Jedi Training Ray, Grievous, Maul Mandalorians, and Nuke Gunray. And in the bottom zone, we've got Bosk, Poggle, Hux, Phasma, and Geonosians. So we're going to start here in the bottom zone with the Geos. And I'm going to go Vader, Thrawn, and Gideon. And we'll push back their turn meter. We'll go Merciless. Force Crush. See if we can get rid of Spy. He's Relic 5. Okay, a little worried there with a Relic Spy. I didn't know if I'd be able to get rid of him or not. And we'll go ahead and Armor Shred. And let's go ahead and Fracture. Force Crush again. See if we can get rid of him. Nope. All right. Nice stun there. We'll pass this to Vader. We'll go Merciless again. Force Crush. Throw this again. There we go. 67. So I'm in the lead. Hurrah. Against the boss squad. We're going to go ahead and go Wedge Han Chewie here. We'll go with this Datacron. This is the kind of Datacron that I think is okay. It's not an overpowered ability. The stat boost is not stupidly overpowered. I think if all Datacrons were like this, nobody would have an issue with Datacrons. Stun Bosk. Go after Boba next. Okay, Boba's down once, Boba's down twice. Dengar the Banner Stealer trying to get some banners from me. Stun Bosk again, that's beautiful. Dengar's gonna stay in hiding. And 57 there. against Poggle. We're going to go with Basti, Ezra, and Kanan. I like this here because I've got two dispels, and so I'll be able to dispel the Droidica uh, damage immunity when that comes up. So there it is. So let's go ahead and get rid of that damage immunity. Beautiful. And get rid of Droidica. We're going to keep working on the B1. Gonna call Kane in here, get him a little bit more bonus protection. The 
by B1. Give the buffs to Ezra. And 57 there. Two first order squads, only one bad batch to counter them. So I'm going to go bad batch against Hux. Okay, so we rip away the advantage. That gives turn meter to my squad. We'll roll out the stun. We're gonna go after Hux, try and get rid of him. Okay. Let's get rid of that taunt. Switch back over to Hux. And goodbye, Hux. There he goes. Okay, we'll go after the TIE Pilot. Beautiful. Keep working on this guy. Let's see if we can stun him. Yep. There we go. Hunter throwing at thin air. 57. And against Phasma, we'll take Jedi Training Ray. See, Hux can shut down the Jedi Training Ray squad because of the um, because he prevents the turn meter game. Let's see if we can get a stun over here. Nice. But with Bad Batch, because you rip away the advantage straight off the bat, that prevents them pr from preventing the turn meter game. It prevents them from preventing. Ooh. Well, I'm not liking this so far. Let's get a stun over here. Let's wipe her. Let's get rid of this Red Trooper. This Red Trooper is very tanky. Get another stun, okay. Ooh, oh no, not good. What if this fails? That would be bad, right? Obviously that would be bad. Another stun. Nice job, R2, nice job. And this is a, a non-Omicron Phasma that's kicking my butt here. Wave there. Stun there. Wow. Wowie, wowie, wow. Let's get a stun on her. Nice. So this is going to work, but... Really, really shaky. Really shaky. Only a 52. Yuck. All right, let's see if there's a GL in the back. There is. We've got Ray with a Datacron. Qui-Gon Jinn. Talzin. Django, and Poe. All right, we're going to go after Rey with our Jedi Master Kenobi. With Cat and GK. And we will give them, we'll give them repost. Get rid of him. 
Now we're gonna work on getting her into damage immunity. Okay, she's in damage immunity. Ooh, Whirlwind almost got GK. Let's see if we can get to our ult. Come on, GK, hold on. We'll do this. And let's go ahead and put the, there we go. Damage immunity is on him. Oh, maybe I should have put it on Cat. We'll go ahead and pop our own ult. Okay, no problem. Goodbye, Ray. Goodbye, Poe. 55. Against Talzin, we're going to go ahead with our standard Kylo Ren Unmasked counter. We can give them a Datacron. We have the tank tech to Kylo, weapons tech to Executioner. Okay, that's all right. We'll go ahead and stun her. We'll keep healing with Watt. by Talzin. Nice. Let's get rid of the Foresight over here. Heal thyself, Watt. Heal thyself. Big hit on Asajj. Need one more of those. Okay, everybody's healed. We'll go ahead and pop one of these. Uh, let's stun. She died of dots. Died of sadness. There we go, 57. I'm going to switch to the front zone now. And we're going to go after Maul Mandalorians with Jedi Master Luke. Give him his Datacron. He flux. Give Master's training to Jedi Knight Luke. Let's stun whoever we can stun, which of course is not Maul. by Candyman. We'll increase his cooldowns. Uh, let's go ahead and heal just in case we need it. Now we'll get rid of Maul. 57. Against Newt. We'll go ahead and do gas, I guess. We've got so much to play with here. I really could have played a stronger defense. Well, they're fast. I'll give them that. Go ahead and pay the extortion. We landed our uh, 
what do you call that, the days. So that was good. We got rid of Newt, and he doesn't get to come back because of gas. And 56. Interesting Grievous squad here with IPD. You're either going to kill IPD really quickly, and so Grievous gets a bonus turn straight away, or you're going to damage IPD, and he's going to blow up on you. So we'll go ahead and we'll go with the standard Wampa here. We'll just hope that IPD doesn't blow him up. Okay, we got rid of IPD, that's great. Roar. Grievous versus Wampa. Guess who's gonna win this? Not Grievous. 59. Against JTR. We're gonna take Jedi Revan. And we'll go straight after Jedi Training Ray. Call Yoda. There we go. Go ahead and spread the buffs. Pass the turn to Yoda. We'll go after the little droid. We're going to miss him, but that's okay. Goodbye, Holdo. And goodbye, BB-8. 57. against Finn. Let's go Imperial Troopers. Let's do that. Let's get rid of Stick Ray. Bye Ray. Go after Resistance Trooper next. Rest in peace. Fifty seven there. In the fleets, we've got Executor Tarkin and Holdo. He's got his rebel fleet with Holdo, so he must have forgotten to switch his capital ship. I've done that before. Against Qui-Gon, there's no Omicron here. So this is not a particularly threatening squad. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go after her first. Of course, we missed because of the foresight. But we didn't miss that one, did we? Goodbye, Ayla. <laughs> Goodbye, Mace. 57. against Django. Let's go with our own bounty hunters. Ah, that's tricky. Grief is the weakest, and I can't target him. So 
So we'll work on we'll work on Django, I guess. Roar. Okay, now Django's the weakest. So this, this was bad planning on my part. I should have foreseen that grief was going to be the weakest. Poor planning. We'll roar again. Uh, we've got our contract. Let's go ahead and go after grief here. Let's stun him. Let's delete him. Okay, so this did not go as anticipated, but it still is fine. We're still going to end up with full banners here because we've got such good banner recovery. And we were able to keep Django under control. He's really the offensive threat on the other side. Uh, and because we had the stun, we were able to keep him under control. Uh, I'm missing a little bit of protection here on Mando, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try and get that back. There we go. Now we'll get rid of him. 57. And Poe Dameron. I've got way too much left over. Let's go Padme with Kiati Mundi and Ahsoka. And let's kick this guy in the face. Let's armor shred this guy. Let's get rid of that taunt. Yeah, he hits hard. Don't underestimate the, uh, the Vet Chewy. Well, it looks like this is going to be one of the few battles where I didn't get max banners. 55. We'll go Executor Mirror Match. And I get to go first. I actually don't like going first. But I'll go first. I'll do that. Think of a breach there. Let's see if we can get down there, Xanadu. Need the double tap here for my Xanadu. Oh, I only got one. And he cleansed his mark. Darn it. Okay. I'm not real happy about that. Let's go ahead and bring this in. Could have done the AOE. Okay, that's fine. Okay, here we go. Let's get rid of the Xanadu. Nice. Okay. Let's pile on to the Slave 1. The heal went on the Slave 1. That's great. Foresight over there. Let's hit this guy instead. Get the chaff up. Bring in our own slave one.
Let's get our contract, fellas. Uh, let's put the mark here. There we go. Get rid of him before he drops his big bomb. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's put a mark here. Uh-oh. Good thing that wasn't a double tap. Drop our big bomb. All right, all right, all right. Oh, we lost our Xanadu. That's okay. Put the mark over here. Go ahead and do this now. And goodbye, Razorcrest. So it looks like this won't be the best banners, but it looks like it is going to work. It's taking a long time to get my, uh, my ultimate. Didn't even get it, but still won, 66. Against Tarkin, we will go with Malevolence. We'll add an extra just in case we need to keep the battle going. Buzz droids over there. More buzz droids. Good assisting. Right, there's the burning. Almost got him down. There we go. Beautiful. All right. We lost our original vulture. We'll bring in the spy. We'll get rid of Vader. Goodbye, Vader. Okay, Bomber. That's okay. And it takes a lot of banners away. It's a banner stealer for sure. Buzz droids. Let's clean up our hyena. There we go. Buzz droids. A lot of dodging over there from that bomber. Almost got through the bomber. There we go. Now this is not going nearly as smoothly as I had hoped it would. And I don't think I'm in any danger of losing. Maybe his ult comes out and kills all my guys. But I'm certainly not enjoying this. This is not great. I'm one away from my ult. There we go. Alright, 64. Not good banners there. Negotiator. I'm going to go after the Y-Wing first, who of course, of course, of course, landed the Shield Disruptor. That's so frustrating. So frustrating. Let's get rid of that guy. There we go. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring in Plo, get rid of that shield disruptor, pump some turn meter. Let's get rid of Biggs. Okay. 
Ninja. Unending Loyalty. There's the Phantom. Let's get rid of that target lock there. Goodbye, Phantom. We'll bring in Ahsoka for the big hit. Almost got him. There we go. 74. All right, so that's it. Full clear 2060. We'll come back in about two hours and see if Palush attacks my defense or not. All right, so there's the answer. Palush did not come back and attack. So taking a look at the board here, you can see no further attacks. Does that mean that this was an okay matchup? I was able to beat somebody with more GP, five Galactic Legends to my two, etc., etc. Is this an okay matchup because they're a non-participant some of the time? No, absolutely not. He should have crushed me. A fair matchup is a matchup where both players giving it their best shot, have an opportunity to win. I only won because Palouche was a non-participant. And if you're saying, well, you know, there are a lot of bad players in the game, and if you only match those people up against people with equivalent rosters, they would lose every time. Well, so what? So what? If they are a bad player, they should lose every time. That's the way it should work. Good players should win more often than not. Bad players should lose more often than not. That's what being good is about. That's what being bad is about. If a bad player wants to win more, they should get good. They shouldn't be able to fall down the rankings until they get opponents they can crush. And to Palusha's credit, he didn't do that. He could have crushed me, and he didn't but it still doesn't make this an okay matchup. The matchup system still needs to be fixed, and unfortunately, CG is going to look at this and go, hey look, smaller accounts can beat bigger accounts. We've got the statistics that prove it. Smaller accounts win against bigger accounts. Yeah, when the bigger accounts don't try, when they don't put in an effort. That's not fun. That's not fun. That's not competition either, and it's not skill. So don't call it a skill rating. All right, well, I am glad to get the win. I finished the week at two and one. No doubt this is going to get me much more difficult matchups next week. So I'm not looking forward to that, but I'll take the win. I'll take the free crystals. I'd like to thank Palouche for the matchup. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. May not be next round, but sometime in the future.